Good morning. Welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. I am doing okay. As I figured out what we we're going to be doing today, I sat down to be proactive and ink up a few things because, you know, stamping and inking can be very long. And you know what? I apparently have no ink, like no black ink. I need black ink and I can't find any. So... I'm struggling to get my uh, image on the on the paper. Good morning, Heather. I hope you're doing well today. I hope the chicken coop and everything is well. So we're going to be doing a few little things. Nothing super hard or anything like that, but fun. So we're going to be, uh, hopefully... Stamping up this stampendous clean stamping is called Paint It Lady, and it is this butterfly and flower here. Excuse the glare for a few more seconds. Oh, maybe this is the right ink, and um, it worked. I hope that your okay gets better. I know that when people ask me, I'm like, oh, I'm okay. I'm like, just okay. Like, it's so much you can be, uh. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that. I am so sorry to hear that. <sighs> yeah, that, was, that cootie sharing is, is horrible. Hope I wish you a speedy, speedy recovery. My son likes to share his cooties with me. Yeah. So, you know, when people say, um, you know, like I just asked you how you're doing, you say, oh, I'm okay. And you have a reason to just be okay. You know, you're fighting a bug. But people tend to want you to be, I don't know, better than okay. They want you to say, oh, I'm doing amazingly fabulous. The world is great. Amazing. And then you know what happens when you tell someone, oh, I'm doing so great. I'm having a wonderful day. What's so great about it? <laughs> What's so wonderful about your day? And you're like, oh, I just, you know, because I have people that, um, say they don't have I have friends that say they don't have bad days and I'm like well I am definitely not one of those persons I don't always have good days but I do wish you a speedy 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 recovery because being sick is just the worst one of the worst things to ever happen to us you know I think I may be able to cut this one out and use it on the thing I want to use it on. You know, I was talking to my uncle this weekend. When I was a little girl, I lived for a short period of time. I lived in Brenham, Texas. And, you know, most people probably think that Texas is very country and rural. And for the most part, it's very uh, country. And, you know, if you think of cowboys, Texas would be, in one of those things, and I was telling him about chicken. We was talking about, um, well, one of my cousins that I barely remember called and was like, yeah, I'm at this funeral, blah, 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 blah. And I was um, resharing one of my memories. Good morning, Nix. One of my memories a good memory and just a life lesson memory on how, you know, people say running around with, with a chicken with like a chicken with the hair cut off. And I was like, that is probably one of the truest animal statements. Just going to blow on it a little bit. You could ever hear. And I told him about when I was a little girl, we had went to the um, general store. I am old. The general store. I got to pick out the little chicks. And, you know, over time, as they got older, it was time to use them for what they had really been purchased for. You know, I don't know if I had, I can't remember if I gave the chickens their names. But I can tell you that I didn't eat chicken for a while after I saw what, <laughs> 
was being done to the chicken. So I'll just leave it at that. You, I'm assuming you're getting chicken coop for the same reason, not um, just for show. You know, eggs or whatever. This thing. It's this side. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I was I was devastated. I think I I didn't eat chicken for a minute. Um, and then I I watch a lot of nature shows like animal vet doctors because I used to want to when I was a little girl I wanted to be a veterinarian. I wanted to be a lot of things, but um, as time and people, I realized that some of those things I was just delusional about. But I did want to be a veterinarian, and so. I watch now. I watch more vet. Uh, well, not at my son. See, I don't watch a lot of. I don't watch regular TV that often. Rarely do I watch human TV. But uh, yeah, we you yeah. That's what that's what the chickens were. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, like they say, you squealing like a stuck pig. I remember watching Good Morning Chocolate City Sim. I remember watching the episode with a pig had something wrong with their teeth and they didn't even get stuck but the pig was squealing i was like oh that's a true statement too huh okay all these animal things but i do remember watching the episode of miss busters and you know they was talking about like a bull in a china stop china shop and the bull didn't knock anything over at all they, they had did a fake store and the bull ran around the island um the owls in the store. So it was very interesting that, you know, we say like a bull in a china shop because you think a bull would destroy things, but it didn't. And it's so interesting. We were watching the episode of Peppa Pig and they said, Mr. Bull is one of the animals because, you know, all the animals, all the animals except for the ducks talk. All of them speak um, the queen's language right except for the ducks they quack i don't even now that i think about it, i don't think they have any bird animals this one came out the best we're going to just do it a little bit more right here but anyway you know they said the bull in the china shop didn't happen the bull on mythbusters the bull didn't destroy it but the mr bull in peppa pig he destroyed the china shop destroyed it destroyed it i want to talk real quick about this stamp set and stamp sets like this from stampendous so if you get this stamp set it may look different than how we're um accustomed to seeing stamp sets from stampendous so it's going to come like this a double clear she, if you get that stamp set, the one thing I will tell you is don't peel it off, okay? Do not peel it. That's a more accurate statement, uh, toddler in a china shop or any store for that matter. So you see how it has this double layer? Um, you can barely see the little faint line like this so what some people may have done in the past is try to peel this off that is not to be peeled off this is the adhesive that sticks to your platform not the actual sticky part if you decide to peel it off you will destroy the stamp i mean you still use the rubber part but this part is going to be gone all right so you don't want to do that all right so we are going to make we're going to try and create something similar to this right here. We don't have any sentiments because I slack off with my sentiments for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. Um, good morning, Samara. But we're going to try to make this image. And what I wanted to do is um, I'm going to fussy cut the first one because it didn't come out that great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fussy cut the uh, butterfly in this flower and um we're going to create this as our mask and then we're going to take another sheet of paper and we're going to take this and this is called 
vintage note and we're going to stamp all around. I don't think this is actually what they used, but they could have, I don't know. If you have some paper printer paper, thin printer paper, you can go and find cursive writing or make your own and then cut it out like that. You don't really need a stamp, but you know, I'm, I have a few things that I am partial to and font unfortunately is one of my uh weaker pastimes when it comes to stamps i do want to go and say that i went to join fabric this weekend and i was not in the market for anything i actually am trying to get two two outfits just some casual shorts and the top too I want them to be a little bit past the knee. I don't want I don't I want them to be capri, but whatever's in between the ankle capri and a knee capri is what I'm looking for, right? So I'm just cutting this down. Um so my goal was to I also went to Kohl's and I didn't buy any clothing from Kohl's because the Kohl's near me is not that very fashion that I like that I loved when I first started going to Coles. But when I lived in Virginia, Coles was like my um one of my favorite department stores to go to. You know, some people say department stores don't have shopping baskets, but a lot of stores tend to have shopping baskets so I'm not sure um, if that's a really good statement or not but yeah I just want to I wanted three pair but when I went into one of the stores I was like you know what let's let's be realistic you're not going to find anything the length you really want and the size that you are currently in the tops so I may actually have to go online and order something or go into the mall into a plus size store like Lane Bryant or something like that and I may do that today after this but I have to get to the post office today I have to so the saga of the post office that I was telling you all about I have decided I'm going to probably write a formal complaint on the store so we didn't talk much about it because I accidentally hit my camera cord and couldn't get it back in and so it stopped recording and then last third last Friday was three on the third so I didn't whenever I have collaboration videos I will not you know I told you already I won't be doing live streams so um yeah so 10 on the 10th I don't think it's on a I don't think the 10th is on a Friday so we should be good and then 13 for Halloween. I'm not sure what day that is, so I don't know. But for the most part, um, I think we should be good. I have to check on the 13th. But you know, you'll get a video. It just won't be a live stream telling you about crazy stuff that happens to me. Um, but so I went to the post op the the closest post office to me is inside a shell station. And I tell you, if I go inside the shell station is not to get a pack of cigarettes or a beer or gas or anything like that. It's always to use the post office because I felt like, oh, this is very convenient. It's a post office inside, blah, blah, blah. A United States post office, not one of those, you know, like you box it places. And every time I go in there, these people have to have the nastiest attitudes. Like the system is always down for one. System is never up. Okay, so Friday I won't be doing a live stream. Let's see. Yeah, but I think I'll be doing a live stream next Tuesday. Yeah. And then I thought about maybe we could slip in some weekend streams. Like I used to do on the Facebook channel, on the Facebook page. Where I was like, no, let's try. Because, you know, I'm trying to get my watch and I'm not saying this to you all to say, please watch. I'm just trying to get my watch time up. And I know I don't really like to watch 
back live streams that much. But last week, um, last week's live stream, no one was here. So it was okay for a while. And then people showed up. And then I hit the camera cord and then it didn't work. The same thing that happened last Friday. And I, you know, I don't expect for people to be like, you need to be here and blah, blah, blah. Except for Barry Crafty, who's not here yet. So I'm going to have to send her a nasty gram. Because the trial's over, right? Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being funny. She, you know, life happens, grown people. I don't expect for her to be here. I just like to give her a hard time. Because she was dissing me for Mr. Um, JD right all right so we got this fussy cut out and this is going to be our mask if you choose to do masking yes you can buy the mask things and that is always an option i learned this way so i just used this way i probably wouldn't even know how to use the real mask stuff um but here we are and i did not have breakfast this morning so it's, you may hear my stomach grumble my little guy slept in I usually try to eat with him in the morning time um, just so you know he he thinks he's my daddy so he wants to hear about our plans and what we're going to be doing and how we're going to spend my money so you know we, we normally discuss whether or not he's okay with what we're doing in the morning time <laughs> but I just like to eat with him in the morning time um you know, he's going to be a big boy and a, te a teenager one day. And then he's going to be like, Ma. <laughs> um, you know, so I don't want to I don't want to miss out on some of these little opportunities that I have to spend time with him. But he just woke up literally like. Eight fifty five. He's like, good morning. I'm like, good morning. And I, I don't normally let I don't normally. um bother him when he's sleeping because I like the quiet and also I mean it's the summer we're not doing anything special and if I need to wake him up I will so we're going to cut this out at five and a half normal a2 size cards I need to cut this down just a scotch I think a little bit well we'll keep it like that so yeah I um I don't have big plans today, but I do want to try. Today is Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so I may go and buy me. A, I need some new sneakers because the ones I have now look like I've been kicking dust um, for about four or five years. I rarely, it's not good what I'm about to say, but I rarely, rarely look out for myself like I look out for everyone else. And so sometimes I get really upset about that and they're like, ah, it's okay. You know, it's not okay though. It's really not. The same love I give everyone else, else I should give myself. Or the same intent of love that I have to give everyone I should give myself. I do know that. I am aware of my, my issues. But I think moms probably have that syndrome. Um, so we're just going to cut this across. If you have a scrap sheet of paper for what I'm about to do, you don't even need to use a platform. You could just use a stamp board and go from there. So it's totally up to you. I do recommend like a lighter color ink if you're going to do this versus a black color ink. I am going to attempt, I'm going to attempt to use this old paper and we'll see how that's going to work out. I lost my card. Here we go. And I got ink somewhere. So, you know, it's going to be a good session, y'all. So, yeah, I think I think we're going to do that. All right. So, first of all, what we're going to be doing is um, stamping our butterfly again. <laughs> you ever have something then you look and it's gone and disappears you're like what did I do with it no Nicholas I'm not asking you I'm asking the ladies I'm talking to in, um, on the live stream okay alright 
again, you see how it's double? You want to just pull one off, not both of them. I remember when um, Tuesday morning had some of these. A lot of people were like, these stamps are broken or they are badly manufactured. But it was just because, I guess, Stampendous was trying a new route, a new method. And a lot of people were like, what is this? Yeah, you know, I thought about you, Samara, when I was uh, getting ready to get some stuff together. Oh, it's definitely going to be a good session. I didn't drop a lot of stuff. Ink is on the fingers. Um, I was looking through my mail and I got a mail from Tracy. Um, Gift Basket Appeal. No, that's not her new name. I don't remember their new channel but gift basket appeal is her old name i don't know if it i don't know what it is now mindless crafting no it was good it was it was just funny and uh they had sent a um you know like bar stuff it was um consumer mail and i was like oh i wonder if um uh, samara's gonna buy or look into this that's all i was thinking nothing bad because you know we've had conversations about um that particular company so I'm just inking this up and we want it to be a decent ink job, not just all not good. And that is good. Yay. So then we're going to slide this over and we have two sheets down because yes. Now, you know what you're thinking? Why did you redo that? I, I'm thinking the same thing now because I could have just went on, but I guess we're doing a start to finish project just in case. Because I already had three other inked up flowers and butterflies. This butterfly, when I saw it at uh, Hobby Lobby, I was like, I, you're coming home with me. I don't know how we're going to get you home because I don't want to pay full price. Um, But I want you. You know, I had said that I was going to attempt to do that. And so far, I was good until I went into Joanne Fabric the other day. I got a few stamp sets. They were on sale, though for a dollar fifty um you know the the two fifty nine stamp set so I was like oh this is good I just won't get you know this eat out thing or whatever but it's something that I really wanted to have because it's little tiny uh poppy flowers I believe and I don't have any of those and I was like I can stamp a bunch of these out and let the skin and cut do its thing and go on Oh, excuse the camera shake. Okay, we're going to re-ink up this area. And actually, let's just apply a little bit more pressure. I was watching a video. I don't remember who had it. And I saw them using the, the ice puck. <laughs> I was like, yeah! Ice puck for the rescue! All right. So I'm going to pull this off. I really need to clean my stamps. Pull it off, and we're going to just use some washi tape because, you know, washi tape doesn't stick down that well. Only when I'm using it will it actually do the job. This is Dollar Tree washi. Like these little flowers. I never felt like I was a big flower person until recently. So now I'm just going to adhere this down. I am not on the freeze, but I'm going to be mindful. Do you really need that kind of um, journey? Because you know, I'm a self-saboteur. I cannot say I'm on a spending spree, spending freeze. All right, so we've already got this stamp ready to go. And what I'm going to do is just put it right here on top. This thing. And this is why a block would come in handy versus not a block. Actually. Okay. Okay. Because I still have subscriptions coming in that I have subscribed to. So would those be counted as a spending freeze if I've already committed to those? Probably not. But I do want to go on that. I want to use more of what I have versus buying more. Yeah. 
All right, so what we're going to do Now we're going to do a second generation stamp. Yeah. You know, I was talking to the big roommate this morning, and so we're just going to rotate our... Ah, oh, it didn't work. Let's see. I was talking to the big roommate. I was like, hey, they have a new thing out for one of the games that I play. And he was like, don't let them people crap you. He didn't say crap, but... You know, he was like, you don't need, you don't need it. I said, whenever it comes to me wanting a new game, you always say I don't need it. Um, he thinks I spend too much time on a computer, though. So, you know, he's biased. So if you had a stamp block, this would be a little bit more easier. So we're going to do a third generation inking right here. And now I'm going to re-ink the stamp. Do the same thing I did the first time. And I chose black because I could use this again, even though it has this ink on it. I can just glue it down. And now we're going to do it this way. So this is the second generation. And then third generation so you know when when we say spending freeze does that mean you're not buying glue tape and stuff like that ink or does it just mean you're not buying new craft stuff to purchase all right and so now we're going to just lift this up gently because i think the ink is still a little bit wet and we don't want to pull off that so here is our first round and we're going to just do another one oh, i know why because those cards are off off kilter i didn't um cut them properly okay so we're going to do the same thing match this up Because the one thing I have learned about myself <laughs> is the only way the only way to not to actually say I'm not going to spend a lot of money is to um, consciously say you don't need you know not out loud but just consciously say you don't need this. Or I question, like now I'm like, okay, what am I going to do with this? Even with um, these clothes, right? Because I'm like, okay, what, you know, when I decided to buy them, I was like, why are you getting these? And the answer is because I don't have any casual, uh, oh, okay, that makes sense. So you're not going to go overboard in new releases. But I'll tell you, I'm not buying it. <sighs> well, I may, I don't know. When Deb showed those gnomes last week, I was like, those need to be in my collection. Because you know I'm partial to gnomes and snowmen, right? Like, look at this. I haven't used it yet, but I had to have it. I had to have it. I love little gnomes and snowmen, right? Like, these are my guys. And so I'll be using these really soon. But, so... Stampin' Up! has a new gnome thing coming out. And I was like, oh, I really want that. I really want it. But do I? Yeah. Yeah, so those, they have a new gnome set. And also, uh, Heartfelt Creations has a new mushroom set. And I can't remember if I released a video or not, but I have a die that you can cut out 
a mushroom little house and stamp it. I have a few mushroom gnome fairy type things, even though I don't believe in those kinds of things in real life. Um, I think they're very cute to craft with. Yeah, I like gnomes to a certain point. I'm not big on, and then we're going to do the second generation over here. Because who writes a letter and it's not upside down, right? So let's do it like this. Let's do this. Then we'll move on. Um, I just, um, I don't know how much I would get out of it. I think those gnomes are so cute. Because, you know, if you have a plain gnome, you can, or any any stamp that has a character on there, you could create any season you want it, um, right? If you have a, a lady stamp, a lady in a dress, it could be a Christmas dress, a New Year dress, a Easter dress, a birthday party, any kind of a function. Yeah, I, well, you know, I'm, my favorite stamp company is Stampendous, right? And um, I think they're very affordable. So that's the one thing. I like affordable craft supplies, not something that's going to cost me an arm and a leg to purchase. And then I have, I have purchase buyer, I wouldn't say buyer remorse, I have buyer guilt from the very beginning of the purchases. So I'm like, do I really need this? Why are you getting this? And then um, if it doesn't, if I don't, I can't really figure out why I'm buying it, I won't buy it. But those gnomes I want. Yeah, I really, I'm on the fence about the other ones, though. It, you know, I don't go crazy over a lot of um, things. But the things that I like, I like. That's what I'll say. <laughs> like I had um, told one of my friends that, I don't know what they have now because I haven't been to the Dollar Tree like, I haven't been online looking for the Dollar Tree. I did go to Dollar Tree last week with my neighbor. And we bought some things out of there. And I bought some things, something still, some no crafty, like, ooh, I need to get these things. I got um, some garden stuff because I need it for one of my plants. Because one of the the way I repotted it is like tilted and leaning over, which it shouldn't be doing it. All right. So I really like the script on this side much more than the heavier one. So the second generation, I am more partial to um, than the first generation. So now what we're going to do is you can see it doesn't even look like um, it's the same image anymore because we did the masking. But it is the exact same image. I'll go ahead and pull out this and we're going to work from here. Now I want, you know, I'm partial to blue, right? But I don't want it to be blue, these edges, because I don't like this pink. I don't, I want this to be like a, a different color. What color? I don't know yet, but not pink. And watch, I pull out a pink to use, but we'll see. So yeah, you know, I'm always on the fence about certain craft items that I don't normally or particularly use. Hi, how are you today? Are you making packs for your shop? So if you all don't know, the jewelry spot, she's in chat, she's an enabler. She's the reason why I have <laughs> the uh looper, the beat looper. I had one, I had lost faith in it and then uh, she showed us how to use it when she did one of her videos. I was like, oh, I need to go to the store. After I watched the video that day, we went and got it from the store. And I'm so glad that I was able to um, do that. So, yeah, she's uh, in one of the collaborations that I'm in. Well, that's how I met her. Uh, jewelry, jewelry making fun. But the first one we did was having fun making jewelry. And I think now it's jewelry making fun, I think. So we're just going to pull out the usual suspects, even though, you know, I'm not into purple. We're going to pull it out. And orange. And some yellow. I also 
thought that this would be very cute watercolor, but I um, for the watercolor that I would like to do it, it's going to take more than about five or ten minutes prep. It's going to take like a day or so for prep. So I need to get that. I need to get my act together. That's all. I'm going to try and then this. So originally I was supposed to stamp the, the writing in a green uh, old paper and I didn't. So it would have been this color, greeny. I didn't do that because I was talking. You know what happens when you talk? You make mistakes. You forget. So we're going to use these two colors. Yeah, I like this one. And then I was watching, I don't know, was it a video? May have been an older video. I was watching coloring, coloring. No, it was a uh, crafter's companion coloring. And I was like, you guys cannot have any of my money today. I'm just going to watch and not participate. Because they had a very good deal. They had their Jubilee deal. It was by... two three i don't know it was something to get something free and then they had half price shipping because shipping is you spend 125 dollars and you get free shipping but shipping is 13 dollars now i believe so half price would have been very good so you didn't even have to buy you know the the max amount or whatever but i was like no and they had adhesives on sale this this glue right here I've only been able to get it from there. And I think HSN has it from time to time. But I was like, um, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. And so I didn't buy anything. I just enjoyed the show, watched them do some coloring. And they had little dogs and cats. And I was like, ooh, I really want that stamp set. But I didn't. I, I held my ground. I was like, what will Samara do? She probably turn the TV off and go and do something productive. I don't know, but I didn't get it, you know. So instead of spending a bunch of money, I just spent six or seven dollars. So how's your day going, everyone? It's just Tuesday. I feel like Tuesday for me is the start of my week because you know that's when we get together and hang out and chit chat. Um, but last night I stayed up very late. Well, not too late. Um, midnight right and I woke up at four something <laughs> this morning I'm not sure if that's good or not I don't know all right so we got this like that Yeah, I enjoy getting up early, though, because it's quiet. I can do all kinds of crazy stuff in the house, and I put the wrong marker down first, which is never a good thing. Uh, yeah. So I put the wrong green down, which I should have known. I was like, why is this going on so easy? Because I was deceiving myself. And that's okay. We'll just use a mark, a crayon, a color pencil. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear it was a rough night of mine. Nick, so I'm assuming that your sleep is all wonky because, you know, you're getting ready to do some traveling. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. But whenever I have, like, major life events going on, I sleep like crap my sleep is interrupted um because my brain will not shut off it's like okay we got to do this this and this and you know I think for the most part I'm kind of anticipating the next day and um yeah I can imagine the next day is not coming fast enough for me and then when it comes, I'm like, oh, I wish it, I, you know, I would have got some sleep because now I can't sleep and just, you know, stressed out or whatever. When I have major things going on, 
or even when I have just um, things that I feel like I should have that needs a resolution to it, and I, I'll go through not being able to sleep. But I've always had sleeping issues. It just seems like it's getting worse in some cases. Yeah, and plus, you know, I'm 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 older. You know, I'm an older lady, and my body temperature does not want to stay regulated. So I was like, "Ooh, if I drink more water, don't." This rationale makes no sense. Before I even say it, it makes absolutely zero sense. But in my head, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I was like, "If I drink more water, I can help regulate my temperature." You know, I can um go to the restroom more frequently to get all the toxins or whatever the thing is that's making me not, you know, my body not regulate besides nature and age and all of that stuff. And so I tend to use the restroom a lot. Um, so that's also a culprit that, you know, I decided, oh yeah, I'm going to just drink lots and lots of water. But... <laughs> Some days it works when I'm home and I'm like able to drink a lot of water. I don't wake up in the morning like I feel like I'm overheating, like on fire. And I'm like, I can't cool off. So apparently that's what life is going to be for me. <laughs> ah, great. All right. So I think I want to use a yellow. And I like how the cut crayon actually came out with this on this. But, I mean, who really wants to get up a lot of times to go potty? I don't. It's annoying. Yeah, so back to this formal complaint. The reason why I think I'm going to make this, I've, it's not like one staff member is rude. It feels like the entire staff is um, on the same page of, the customer needs us and it's not the other way around. So I feel like that is what is causing me to have so much. <laughs> My day is just starting at six. Shoot. I have a fan, the air conditioner, and I still wake up like literally, I feel like my skin is boiling internally and it's just coming out like I'll wake up and so, so when I wake up in the morning my brain's like okay what work can be done so if the trash needs to be taken out on a Monday for example I'll um I have some I didn't bring them here that's what I said I was going I want to do watercoloring next but for the process to work the way I want it to work because I wouldn't do it on paper it's going to take me a day of prep for it so hopefully next Tuesday because Friday is the 10th and that's 10 on the 10th so I won't be um live on Friday but what I'll try to do is have the video come out at nine o'clock so it's just like you know we're hanging out I won't be in chat because it's not a premiere yeah I've tried watercoloring a few times and the more I've done it the more I've liked it I just don't do it that often I haven't colored in a long time. Like, you know how I used to always do color and color with me or color in chats? I haven't had anything to talk about that I felt would be, <laughs> you know, worth talking about. Yeah, my fan is on. I used to put the temperature down below 70. And then the guy was like, oh, no, you should do this. So I have the fan on, the... So I'm just dragging this a little bit. I'm no colorist. I just color because it makes me happy. Um, but I'm dragging it over the orange a little bit. I could have did some blending, but I didn't really want to do much blending. I'll probably come back in with this light orange and hit the areas a little bit. But for the most part, we are not attempting to do any type of blending but we'll co color it a little bit more. I should have thought about that before I started. I just like to give the lines, since I'm not like a shader, 
a shading um, colorist. I like to give the lines a little bit more detailing and then coloring like that. Um, excuse the scraping. I think for me, when it comes to the temperature, like I like it really cold. The little guy likes it really cold. The big roommate is questionable when it comes to the temperature. So I enjoy it being cold. Um, but at nighttime, I just, I'm, I sleep fine, but at a certain point, I just wake up and I'm like boiling. And I'm always like, okay, what did I eat? Did I do, eat anything that um, may have not set well? And it's usually, I, all I can think of is that my body is just not reacting well to aging. <laughs> so this is not the same color. This is the mellow yellow. And the other one's like orange. So I'm just going to color over a few spots. And then I'm going to go back in with my yellow marker and color it. And you know, for alcohol markers, the more you color, the darker the image will get, even if you use the same exact color. So if you only have a few colors then there you go i will tell you though if you are in the states and you want to excuse me one second So if you're not, you know, if you're not sure about coloring, but you want to try it, I recommend if you have a computer, go on the computer and find some coloring image you can print off. Or if you want to be a little bit more daring, you can go to, um, I recommend like a discount store. Um, TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, uh, Five Below, something like that. And they have... They have coloring books, coloring images, and then Burlington, if you're into Burlington, they have, sometimes they have markers, mar markers that you could purchase for, you know, relatively 50 cents per marker when some of the more expensive markers are like, um, three, three or four dollars <laughs> per marker or more. Five dollars, something like that. So we're gonna take this pink. Here I'm saying we're not gonna do any blending, and I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna set this up. I'm gonna take this peach. It's called tender pink. Tender pink. I'm gonna color this in. Do I know if this is gonna work? No. Are we gonna try it anyway? Absolutely. Yeah. See, $8 a marker. Uh-uh. Those are the Copics. I was at the marketplace and this lady was selling some of her Copics, so I bought them. They were under a dollar a piece. I'll tell you that right now. You know, whenever, um, it's so funny how you rely on your craft friends to tell you whether or not you, you're getting a good deal right. So whenever I'm on the marketplace and I, um, hi, Annie. <sighs> Ma'am, I don't know if I'm going to be okay because, listen, okay, I don't like the heat. I don't like the heat. $8 a mark is a lot of money for anything. Um, you know what I can do with $8 at the craft store with things on sale? No, let me stop. I, uh, <laughs> probably not much. I need a brown. 
you know, when my mom first started going through the change, um, she used to be like, see, I'm sweating. And she'd rub her hand on her forehead. And I'd be like, I don't see nothing. She's like, I'm sweating. I'm telling you, it's hot in here. Because so I'm like, why you had a, the air on? Why you have the fan so high or whatever? That's what I used to always ask her. And um, she'd be like, it's hot. And then I'm like, okay. Because, you know, the only thing I can ever relate to is when I was younger and we would go visit older people. Like, I guess 60, 70, 80 year olds, old, you know, old people, not like how old I am right now, because I would never say my age is old, but you know, it is for some people. Um, and their house will be hot, you know, they would say, Oh, don't go over to um, Uncle Bob's or Aunt Betty's house because it's always hot. You know, old people got that heat on. Um, I hope I get to be that, that old and just freeze people out because it is so. Cold is much better than heat. I don't know. But yeah, she rub her hand on her head and she's like, you don't see this? I'm like, no. Look like grease to me. She's like, it's hot. So, um, her, you know, she passed away, I think, at a fairly early age. Too early for me to accept. Um, yeah see no i can't i can't do the too hot i need it to be nice and cool we're gonna try some color pencils real quick because i do want to try to capture this like orangey red color i think an orangey red and um i don't know we'll see yeah i mm, it's, i'll be in the car that's all i'm gonna say like mm -mm. I've been to people's house like that before recently in the last couple of years. And I'm like, is the air broken? My uncle's house, for example, um, my oldest uncle, uh, his house was like that. I'm like, why is it so cold? Hot in here. Like the air broke. Y'all need me to go buy your new air condition. Cause where they live, they have box fan, uh, uh, air conditions in the window, not central air and heat. And I'm like, it's hot. And it's like, yeah, your uncle like it. I'm like, uh, please. I'm going to be outside. Like, I'll tell him I'm waiting in the car. Because, you know, I, back then, gas wasn't, you know, a small child. It wasn't the price of a small child or whatever. So, I was okay with sitting in the car running the air conditioner. But it's still, I, um, uh, thinking about it just bothers me it really does i think we go with pink i think i do too i do too i definitely do because why would you do this to us ma'am i'm sure she didn't know the consequences and if she did she didn't believe them you know because that's what happens right you're like oh don't do this because it's not good and you do it you're like i i knew what was going to happen i just didn't know it was going to be this bad you say what now you knew it was going to be this bad? You just didn't think it was... You knew this was going to happen, but you didn't think it was going to be this bad. Okay, okay, I see, I see. So right here around these little rounded parts that they've put on here, I'm going to do... I was reading an article about this lady. I think her name is Francis, a friend. Let's see. Yeah, Fran, a Francis. And um, I think she does... When she started the company, I think I could be wrong. I was watching, I was reading the article that they had for this company, Stampendous. I think she did most of her artwork herself. I don't know if that's a, I feel like that's a true statement. But you know, she doesn't do the Stampendous, I mean, the um, House Mouse ones. Those are from a different person. So I don't know. But I love hearing about um, women who want to make a, a difference in our community for us. All right. Did I pull out the right pink is the question. I see y'all. I'm not sure if we could. I don't know. Hot. You know, um, I always talk about the heat. Like I live in a place that it gets up to 100. Like. The light company sent a message out saying, hey, next week, meaning this week, is going to be up to 100 degrees. 
please plan accordingly, right? I was like, well, you ain't got to worry about me running my overdoing my air conditioner. I'm going to somebody's store or something, and they're going to, I'm going to use their air up, right? Because it's hot. A hundred degrees is, oh, it's hot. It's very hot. It just makes me sad thinking about how hot it is. Um, you know, it's a lot, well, you don't know, but it's a lot of homeless people here. And um, I always feel bad. So, like, whenever I, I go places, I always see if somebody is homeless in the area. Like, I'm not looking for them, but if I see people, like, if I go to the fast food place, and there's normally no one out there. So, but when I go, I'm like, okay, we're going to, you know, this is me in my head saying, we're going to um, get an extra meal for these people um, and do it. In Houston, they have a sign that says, please don't give money to the homeless people. There are better ways to end this um, situation for homelessness. And I'm like, okay. And they have a website. Because some people are not homeless. They're panhandling. And, you know, you have to have a panhandler's license to panhandle. I remember watching this... um, It wasn't on 2020. It could have been. It was a couple of, a lot of years back, a lot of years, where they had shown this man saying, I gave this old lady money. And he caught her driving, like, whatever year it was, a 2000. A brand new car, basically. He said, um, you have a sign that says, you know, need money or whatever. And, you know, people feel bad for elderly and young people and usually pregnant women. More so than you see a guy on the street. You're like, you get a job. Go work or whatever. So, um, you know, he was like, "You get, I gave you money and you don't need it. You have a better car than mine. Like, he was so upset that she had a better car than he did. And he gave her money because, you know, he felt bad for her. But in whatever state she was in, they needed a panhandler's license. And um, they were talking about how people are getting over on us, the innocent people. Unless you guys are panhandlers, then, you know, you're not innocent. If you're saying, you know, I'm hungry, kids need this. Like here they have these violinists who are not even playing the violin. They just put the, they turn the track on and you run your hand across the bow or whatever. And guess what? You're a violinist again. You're a violinist and you play these beautiful songs. And so this one girl, it's always one, it's always that one person, she went and challenged. She's like, hey, how long have you been playing the violin? And he told her a lie. Because she was like, how old are you? And he's like, 19 or whatever and he was like I've been playing it since I was like 5 she's like well you want to play something with me and she bust out with her violin (laughs) and the guy was like uh no like I don't want to play she's like come on play something with me and I can understand how she felt because it's kind of like an insult to people who have paid money and learned the instrument and here you are pretending like you are this person and you're not because it's the sign that they have says mom needs rent money or something like that and then they have like a girl they usually have like a family outside um sitting there to look you know to pull it out heartstrings even more i'm like i'm not giving you no money And they did a special on it. It's like a ring that runs um, from where I, well, at least where I live to Austin, Texas. So they go in front of like TJ Maxx, Ross, those kind of places. But I could have swore they had no soliciting um, out. Yeah, they, and this one lady walked in. She's like, will you give me a ride? I was like, I ain't got no room in my car for you. I'm not giving you no ride. I don't know you. And I told my husband, I was like, I look, I must look like one of those people. He said, yeah, you look like you. He called me a mark. I was like, really? That's what we're doing? But he called me a mark. 
So he he said, yeah, you look like somebody would give in to it. In the past, I probably would have, but I've been burned a few times by being too nice to people. So now I'm like ruthless. No, I can't help you. However, when I see people with animals, I start to feel kind of, you know, not good. I so always want to give the pooch some water. I told myself I'm going to start riding, especially for the summertime with, um, yeah, I'm sure, um, with bottles of water to give people if they say that they need something. Because, you know, some people will be like, you know, I'm homeless, I need um, money, or no, hungry, you know, give me some money for food, and you go and buy some food and they don't want to eat it. We had we were going somewhere one day. Um, Burger King, we were at I don't know remember where we were going, but we were at by Burger King or someplace. And this guy was like, you know, can I have something? Do you have some money for me? I'm really hungry. And the big roommate had just been swindled by somebody else somebody somebody he thought was his friend stole his car right a little uh he had just got the car and the guy stole the car he my husband left it running i was like you, that was not smart of you to leave it running but the guy stole the car so we had to follow police report and everything and um we were going somewhere he's like after that incident i'm not helping anybody out and i am uh, not as mean <laughs> when it comes to um, people being hungry and harmless. And I was like, you should help him out. He was like, I ain't helping nobody out. You know, he was still salty about the incident. And I was like, well, here, you know, I was going to dig in my purse and give some money to the guy. He was like, we ain't going to get no money. I was like, "We." I feel, you know, sometimes you just feel like something come over you like, we should help this person out. And um, he was like, never mind. So he got out the car. He said, come on, you know, let's go in here. And the guy was like, oh, thank you so much. And um, got some food. And he ate the food right there, like came out of the restaurant. Because they was like, we told you to get out. And, um, you know, my husband was like, no, he's with me or whatever. And they was like, okay, what, you know, like whatever. And um, he was like, get whatever you want off the menu. And the guy got like a basic 2 or $3 meal. He was like, no, get, you know, get what you want. And he was like, are you for real? He got got some food and, um, you know, he got a, a meal. And he came out and he just went to town eating it. And it made me so sad. You know what? People ain't people ain't about that life these days. Ain't nobody trying to work for nothing. It's a lie. They just want you to give them the money so they can go and live it up or do whatever they're doing to be in that situation. Like I told my son, because we were passing by, and this is before I guess they uh, cracked down in this particular area. They have a whole tent. I call it tent city. They have a whole tent area. We had went to. I had ordered a a pickup from Walmart last week and I wanted to pick up the food that day and I didn't pay attention to the location it sent me to and it sent me to the other side of town they had a whole when I tell you a whole tent set situation set up it was like three or four tents lined up they had a little it was a whole a whole thing and um I was like, what in the world is going on with that situation? But, you know, my son was like, look, mommy, they're camping before. Hi, Cheryl. How are you doing today? Hopefully well. I was like, they're not camping, son. They're homeless. And he's like, oh, what? You know, he doesn't know what homeless means. I said, well, and I told him, because you really don't know why people are homeless. Some people are homeless because they just, one bad thing after another, poor life decisions, you know, it's a lot of reasons. Um, I was watching a thing on YouTube a while back about the fires and how people in California are displaced. So you never know why people are homeless and you never know the situation that they 
put themselves in to be like that. And some things just happen. And he was like, why? I was like, well, mommy, you know, I don't know the reason why these people are homeless, but I can give you a few examples of why people could be homeless. All right, so that is our image. It does not look like the... <laughs> it doesn't look like... Um, what I thought was going to be in my head and it doesn't look like what is actually on the card either. We're just going to go ahead and color this in a little bit more. So I feel like it's a few little light pieces poking out. I'm going to come back with this color and this is pale sage. Is this the color I was using? No, I was using yellow. Yellow. Call me mellow yellow. So hopefully everyone's doing great and having a wonderful June. I feel like, you know, someone has this year on fast forward and they are not taking their hands off the button. I really wish they would. But I guess when you're older, time passes faster than when you're younger, right? Thank you. So this is the image that I wanted to go for just th this is the inspiration and this is what came out of it yay so we're gonna do one more real quick and then we're gonna make some cards because I have a challenge going on um, and I forgot to put the, the number of cards that I've made <sighs> so and this one's gonna be faster than that one because we're gonna use Hopefully all markers. One thing I have learned about the markers and color pencils. Thank you so much, ma'am. Maybe I'll put it in the mail with your box. I'm supposed to be sending you. Um, and you'll have a card and you can put it on display. And you'll be like, look who sent this to me. Rana. <laughs> um, if you decide to mix your color pencils and stuff like that. Yeah, right from what the people that know more than I know, use your markers first in the color pencils. Don't color pencil and then marker it. It ruins the nibs and you don't want that. Because at $8 a marker, I'm just saying at $8 a marker, do you know what I can do with $8 and 10 markers, $80? Do you really want me to tell you? If I were a buying person, you know, a person that buys craft supplies on a good day at Hobby Lobby for $80, I could come out with at least three bags of junk. And right now they have that clearance. I did buy some from Hobby Lobby clearance, though. They had a, I bought a picture for my son's bedroom. And I wanted to get this sign that said railroad crossing, but I was like, I can buy two planks of wood and make my own stencil. I have some letter stencils. So I mean, that was like, uh, no, ma'am. And that's what I'm saying. When I buy things, I, I always like do, what is it for? What are you going to do? Unless it's like cheap video games. If it's like a $5 video, I'm like, I'm buying it in the cart, throw it in the bag. Like every night I play a little game. Well, not every night, but sometimes I play a game. It's called Gym Wars. My son's like, why do you always play that game? I'm like, I like puzzle games, son. Yeah, but it's so boring. I'm like, it's boring to you, not me. <laughs> and like, I like to do Sudoku, but I like to do Sudoku um, in the book. On paper, I should say, not electronically. And I even took it a step farther and I do Sudoku with a pen. Yeah. I can't do crossword puzzles with pens, but I could do it. Sudoku. Have you ever seen, it's a movie. I don't, it's a love, a comedy, a romantic comedy. Oh yeah, Tetris is nice. Tetris makes me mad though. I'm like, why? Don't speed up. My brain doesn't function that fast anymore. When I was younger, Dr. Mario, I loved that game. You know, hopefully everyone knows who Mario is. 
um, if not, it's a Nintendo staple. But Dr. Mario had those little pills that come down. And it's, it's like Tetris. It's just a different form of it. And once you get to a certain level, the pills drop fast. And so on the Switch, a gaming console, they have older games from back in the day. And my son was playing. I said, like, you got to go faster than that. He made it stage one. That's it. Stage one. Yes, I have never saved the princess. <laughs> I can't, my husband calls it rock the turtle. You know, when you jump on a turtle and, and get all those level up, I can't do it. I just, I'm a watcher of Mario because it's a platforming game where you have to do like jumps and stuff. And my heart starts to be too fast for that. I don't want to do it. All right. And let's see, I think I want to go pink still. Do pink, that's too loud. I like Mario, I like watching it. I prefer to watch certain games over playing them because it's easier to watch and talk trash than play and talk trash when you do something silly. Yeah, um, I in my you know, we we play Animal Crossing, so my son likes watching Animal Crossing videos, and I always have to be careful about which ones I let him watch if any, because people curse. And then my son is into the pirates, um, the pa the parrot phrase right now. So he curses when he hears people curse. And so I will, I don't normally curse that much around him or at all. I try not to curse at all. Um, and I try to watch my language when I am driving because drivers here, bring out the evil side of me they just do stupid stuff like they don't let you in they cut you off they don't put on their turn signals um my uncle came and he was like "Ooh, they drive worse here than in houston i was like yes they do yes they do so um halo i can't shoot to save my life my aim is horrible i talk about chocolate city because she's a game streamer she um, streams on Twitch. If you all watch Twitch, same name, Chocolate City Sims. And um, she, her shooting is crap too, but mine is way worse than hers. But I always just tease her because I'm like, yeah, you, what's up with that aim? Because I know my aim is ho horrible, horrible. And Halo, when I first saw Halo, we played it um, at work. And you know how the, the screen splits? I thought I was the person shooting, but I was the person getting shot. So I stopped playing. I was like, you will not embarrass me ever again. Yeah. I mean, you know how I feel about your aim. It's better than mine. I mean, you saved me before in um, Fallout. My aim will always be garbage. It will always be garbage. I just don't get it. I don't, you know. Um, is this the right one? No, it's not. Oh, no. I said I was going to do all markers. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Like, if, if you're looking to be carried, I can carry you in other games, but not a shooting game. Street Fighter, I probably could have your back in that because it's no real, for real for me, no real anything. I just press a lot of buttons and hopefully a combo comes out of it. Um, the big room and I was playing it and he was like, what are you doing? We played once or twice. I was like, come on, let's play this game. Cause he plays the sports games. I'm like, it's too many buttons. And so we played another game. He's like, what are you doing? I said, don't let me win. Show me no mercy. So I, I beat him up the first round cause he didn't understand how to do it. Right. The second round, he killed me. Oh, that is so cool. Heather. I would see. You got to move to Texas. Never mind me trying to move where you live, huh? No compromising here. So see how I just laid that layer of marker down and now I'm going with pencil. If you want to fill in some more of the blank, the the white spots like right here, 
it's recommended that you put more pencil down, not marker, because you ruin your markers like that. I don't know how true or false it is, but, you know, the people that say it, they are loved in the community, so I trust them. So if anything, if I, I probably will just take a different color pencil and go over it. And you all know um, Prima, Prisma, Prima. Prisma colors are creamy. And so they lay down a little bit different than like um, crayon, Crayola crayons. So these are more artist grade. I don't think th these may be artist grade. I always think of Prisma colors artist grade, but I'm no coloring artist. I just like to do it and I enjoy it. And that's all that matters. But it does, it is a creamier color. It's not um, scratchy and things like that. So, you know, if you want to start out coloring, that's what I recommend. I recommend you trying it on, um, oh, excuse me, some least expensive. And as you increase your coloring, I would recommend you buy one or two of those markers that Heather mentioned, the $8 markers. Or, you know, you can start off in a, a, a low, higher end. Because I think Spectrum New R markers are good. And if you have a Tuesday morning near you, you can, they have those on sale. Like the regular price of those markers are expensive. And they sell them at Joanne Fabric as well. I'm not sure about the other locations. I feel like Hobby Lobby is probably the more premier store for newer brands, whereas Joy and Fabric and Michaels, they have specific brands that they go with. Like, I feel like Hobby Lobby is like, look, your run is up. Let's move on. Like, back in the day, they sold Bob Ross products, and now they don't. So... Um, I'm not sure why or what happened, if it's the, the handlers of his merchandise now or whatever. But, yeah, they used to sell it, and now they don't. So we're just going to go in a little bit deeper with this purple. And I'm not sure what color we're going to color this bulb, but I should just say color with me, huh? Because we haven't did one embossing yet. And we will be getting off soon because my son is like, when it, mommy, when are you going to get off? <laughs> He's ready to go. He wants to go blow bubbles, have a bubble party. So, yeah. And now we're just going to go back over it with this same color. And so for blending, which I'm doing a little bit of it, not very high profile blending, but for blending, whatever color you start with, that's the color you want to stop with. So you see, I started with this color, then I blended a different color. Now I'm going back to this color. And the color is lilac and uh, Parma Violet. I just call them purple. <laughs> Different shades of purple. Purple one, two, three. But they actually have real names to it. Like, if you've ever watched a Bob Ross show on PBS, um, so when I was little, PBS was what we had. We had regular TV, no cable. Or anything like that. And so what I would watch is Sesame Street, Reading Rainbow, Ghost Rider, all those cartoons, if you all remember those. I'm going to go with this yellow. Um, let's see. Ghost Rider, Reading Rainbow, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Sesame Street, and... Um, the old lady that used to do the exercising. I was like, why they have this on here? And she used to always do those chair exercises. I mean, I'm okay with it now because I fit that description of an old lady. So 
I probably, you know, should have respected her a little bit more back in the day. But not neat, none to neat, needless to say, Bob Ross, I did definitely grow up watching him. So whenever he said, and as I've gotten more into crafting and coloring, when he talks about yellow ochre, yeah, PBS, amazing show. Um, you know, P, when he was talking about yellow ochre and, and what's this? yellow ochre, he always says one of the blue colors. And I'm like, what in the world is that? And, you know, some of the other colorists out here, watercolor people, whatever, they say, oh, yeah, I'm going to use my yellow ochre now. And I'm going to do this. I'm like, Bob Ross, Bob Ross, you know, I'm, that's what I'm thinking, even though it's not him, but I'm thinking that, um, I'm like, oh, okay, now I get it. So I, when I see these funky names, like this is Pale Sage and all those colors, I'm like, okay, now it makes sense. But in my head, it's still like a light yellow, dark yellow, blue, green, all those colors like that, because I'm not really into... the details of it as much as you know other people like when you see people use their copics they say you know copic and they'll give the color and the number and they'll leave the things on the side like i've watched videos and like we're coloring this today and this is what we're going to be using i'm like okay let's do it because i'm not using those colors i'm just you know mostly i'm just watching oh yeah see i didn't i wasn't into the cooking stuff but I would love to watch her. And I think Julia Child, when I saw, um, what's that man's name? Uh, Robin Williams do Mrs. Doubtfire. I was like, you know, he's like, first, I was like, okay. I, you know, I knew who they were referencing. But one person I missed in my crafting journey, I never saw her do any of this stuff, is, uh, was Shelly Duvall? Not, she, yeah, Shelly Duvall. Is it Shelly Duvall? No, Shelly. Yeah, Shelly Duvall, I believe it is. I mean, I didn't see that show because, you know, a lot of people say they remember when, um, it was more craft channels on like the home HGTV it was more crafting things on there. I'm like, I miss, I'm always late to those, those types of parties. Cause I didn't see it, but I was watching, reading something and her name came up in a thing. I was like, Oh, that's nice. It's real cool. Yeah. I missed that one. Another person that people don't normally talk about is Donna Dewberry. You know, with the one stroke images and stuff like that. I remember she was on HSN and this was before COVID. I think it was like 2018, 19, and they were talking about the supplies. And she said, the slickest remark, a true remark, but it was real slick the way she said. She said, if you want good product, if you want a good painting, don't use basically, I'm paraphrasing it. She said, Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I understand. Um, <laughs> but she said, if you want to have good pictures, use good products. Like basically saying, don't buy that cheap stuff. If you want a, a nice product, don't buy the cheap stuff. And I told my friend and she's like, she's not wrong. I was like, she ain't right either. I'm not about to be doing no one stroke painting out here for no $300. Are you crazy? I need a starter kit. Let me get the starter kit. And then we could talk about it. That's the one thing I've always wanted to do is paint. But no. My brain will not let me be great because I think painting should be fun and easy. So my brain tricks me into thinking that it's hard that I think I've told y'all the story about me and stencils I had um 
was like, I'm going to buy some stencils. I'm going to stencil this up for my baby, blah, blah, blah. You know, and plus, I think when you're pregnant, you have low oxygen to the brain. So you're delusional about the things that you can actually accomplish. At least that's my that's my story. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to stencil his room. I'm going to make him a little uh, paper mobile out of fly, uh, with um, animals and things like that. So I pulled out the cricket and I did all these things. And lo and behold, the boy never got it. Well, that's what we're going to just leave it at. He never got it. I'm not ashamed of it. He just never got that um, situation set up that way. Um but now I know, like I was, I feel like I was unrealistic and no one really told me. You're not going to be able to get all that crap done the way you think you're going to get it done. You might as well go ahead and um, chill out. Because he had, um, I want to say safari, but yeah, safari is a good way. His room was all like little animals, giraffes. I had him a lot of little teddy bears and um animal you know animal teddy bears his lamp was teddy bear he had a little animal mobile and all that crap but I really wanted to do more so I had bought some canvases and I was making these little pictures and then Target used to sell really good stickers so I had bought a sticker it was a tree and I was like this could be like one of those little watering holes holes and everything and at the about an hour of doing that. I was like, I don't want to do this no more. I still have the, the painting, the picture, but I was just like, this was a lie. I lied to myself. I was delusional about it. Yeah, no one told me. And I'm not upset, you know, but if someone wants to ask me, like when people ask me now, I don't give advice on kids. On what you should and should not be doing. Because the way you raise your kid is how you raise your kid. And I don't tell people how to handle death. Because the way you handle death is the way you handle death. I always just tell people, take take the time to grieve. You know, sit in that moment. I always tell people, and I learned this, to sit in the moment. Even though I'm, like, stressed about it, sit in that moment. Go through the pain. Feel the emotion of whatever, if it's happy because you find out you're having a baby, you said that someone's left you, sit in the moment. Don't rush it. Don't try to move on from one state to the next. Um, but the one I thing I tell people is if they ask me or, you know, I'll say it, sleep, get all the sleep you can because sleep will not come to you for a long time once you have a child. Sleep, sleep, and sleep often. That's all I ever tell people. You know, for the most part, my son sleeps very well, and he slept very well as a little guy. But have a good day. I hope you sell lots and lots of earrings. Sell out your Etsy shop so you can put more stuff in. Yeah, so, you know, I always always tell people that when it comes to that, but... I was delusional, very delusional about child care. <laughs> now I'm kind of like, ah, oh, no, you fooled me once. You're not going to fool me again. We had went to his Christmas. No. The spring festival concert. And one of his classmates' friends, mom, was there. And she had just had a baby. And a big roommate was like, we should have another one. I said, you can by yourself. Go ahead. I'm not. I'm done. No more kiddos for me. And, you know, people say, well, you know, so-and-so had um, a baby at this age. And they had a baby at this age. I'm like, I'm not so-and-so. I'm not rich. I don't have all this money that they have. So now we're just going to go over these lines and color this in just like that.
What are the plans for today? What do you got going on for the rest of your day? Aside from working and being super productive at work, what are you going to do for yourself? Heather, if you're still there, how do you feel about the verdict? And if anyone followed the case, how do you feel about the verdict? Yeah. So are you going to get off work early? Are you going to nap when it's your break time or what? I'm just going to go ahead and push through today. <laughs> so I did put a spot of green right here. I just wanted to see it. Excuse me one second, please. Oh my goodness, I have a jewelry making class. Ooh, are you teaching it or taking it? Yeah, so first of all, that would be great to go to a jewelry class. Regardless if you're teaching it or taking it, that is so cool. I do hope that you get your rest, Samara, because, you know, sleeping is delicious when you can do it. And with the case, I have only watched snippets of it because I couldn't be invested in that crap, right? I am glad that, you know, justice was served and people could see the weirdness that, you know, he was trapped in. But I'll tell you, some of the stuff that came out of the case is quite scary. Like he's with this lady who defecated on a pillow that this man sleeps on. Not only that, but you disrespected your entire bedroom by doing that stuff. And then you say it was the animal. And then you go ahead and admit that you did it. Oh, so the, you're just taking the class. I would love to find some of those classes. It used to be a beading store at, in a mall. But I think they closed down due to the pandemic. You know, small mom and pop craft places don't really... Um, do as well as a big corporate spot. I just wish I had the connections to get the charms because, you know, I like charms. Yeah, I didn't watch it either. Um, but from what I could ascertain from the nonsense and all the um, memes that came from it and people calling her uh, a boo-boo name, you know, it's good to it's it's apparent that something wasn't right in that whole thing and even though they probably said he probably said some hurtful things to her I'm sure she said hurtful things to him yeah that's what she was saying I just didn't want to say it in case the my child was listening because he'd come and say what's that <laughs> But overall, I think, you know, I'm happy that he actually was vindicated. And I think the bad thing about that whole situation is that, um, for example, I only watched Pirates of the Caribbean because he was in it. I didn't go and say, oh, it's going to be a great movie about pirates. Even though I like nautical things, I was like, oh, Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom. Yes, please sign me up. 
Um, and I don't know. I think that when I see his name in the movie, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, so I feel like, you know, being judged by Hollywood before the facts were out or whatever they're calling what was going on is, you know, bad. And to come to find out, I mean, could you imagine coming home to a human feces on your pillow, getting a picture from your uh, housekeeper saying, look at this. This is the kind of woman you didn't brought into this house. Like, that's crazy. And then she lied about donating money from the whole case. Like, that's even worse to uh, victims of people that actually have been in domestic um, violence um, situations. So that's not good. All right. So we got our two pictures. I'm super excited about that. I am going into the orange phase I see but I like this a lot I like it so let's go ahead and do uh, one embossing situation because that's what we're supposed to really be doing and so now you have your this thing mask and so you can just you know put that on top once you clean your, your stamp off and it'll go no problem Exactly. Oh, yeah. Orange is a pretty decent color. Goodness. Okay. So, listen. Okay. That was the good one. Because I was going to say, the last time I dropped something, I disconnected cards and things like that. So, we don't want to do that anymore. Because that would not be good. All right. So, this comes from American Crafts. And I think. This had two embossing folders in it, but I only have the one. And this is great. We're going to be just fine with, with the one. So no worries. So we're going to run this through real quick. Really, really quickly. And what I wanted to do, I don't know if I'll be able to do it because I don't think... I actually have my purple sham, shim, sham, sham, sham. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I like, you know, orange is not my my color, but it's a cute color for crafting in. And orange just says summer, right? All right, so we got that one. You know, we're going to have to skip that. I think we might have to skip it. Hopefully not. We spent all our morning coloring. Mm -mm -mm. We haven't made one card yet. It's like we're doing just prep work, right? All we did was some prepping versus actual coloring. Coloring. And I don't think this is going to work because I need the purple sham to make it work. And I don't know. We'll see. But I really wanted to do some embossing because we haven't embossed in a minute at all. Yeah, that won't work. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do to try to make this work is I'm going to just take a sheet of regular paper because I can't find my shim right now. And yeah, this should work. So we're just using a regular sheet of paper and we're going to run it through the machine. And I think I'll run it through again. No way. Oh, thank you. It's not really trouble. Well, it's not Friday either, but I won't be here Friday. So, you know, let's enable. <laughs> let's enable. I always, whenever I watch anybody's video, I'm like, ooh, I need that. Ooh, 
I want that. Ooh, I gotta have that. And then I'm like, do you really need all of that stuff? And you know, the the rational person at the point of saying, do you really need all that, should not ask the irrational person that's saying, yes, I need all of that. Because I'm like, that's what I said. I need it. But then I have another talk with myself and I'm like, no, I really don't need it. I really, really don't need it. Um, but I want it. And I am not going to be able to emboss because I don't have my shim. Let's see. Maybe it's in this box. No. Oh, right here. Yay. So for this machine right here, the MIDI. <laughs> I blame Heather. Yep, I blame Heather. For the MIDI to run your embossing folders through, you need the sham. You need the sham. See, I think that if it makes you happy, you should do it. Not everyone agrees with that statement, though. And I, I understand. Ooh. So we should have wet this because you see it's bent right there. But we're gonna we're gonna make it work. We wanna make it work. We're only gonna do one because I am short on time and the big roommate has called me. So I'm I'm short on time. Um so now what we're gonna do, excuse me one second. All right, so in the future, whenever you do decide to emboss, if you have a brain, forget like I do, make sure you damp in your paper. We're going to still make this work, no big deal. We're just going to cut the edges off. We're going to cut the, excuse me one second. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, cut this down. Oh, great. So I'm going to get the grain of the paper. No problem. That's what the guillotine is for when you don't feel like attempting to figure out which side is the grain of the paper. You just go ahead and keep on trucking. And he says she weak. Heather says she's strong. I think the strongest person in here, craft-wise, is probably Samara. Because I feel like she says, I'm not doing it, and she's not doing it. I don't know if that's a true, true, true statement, but I feel like that's the truest statement I'll say today about crafting, at least. All right, so we're going to do this. And we're going to cut this down um, just a little bit, because we're going to work through this. So this is still going to be an A2 size piece of paper. I mean, an A2 size card. And now what we're going to do, if you have your scraps that you've been um, collecting, now is a good time to pull them out and that you didn't send in any packages to anyone. Now would be a good time to pull those out. So we're going to just use this as a little bit of... Nope, can't use it as inspiration because they did something else. So that's okay. We'll do this this way. So we're just going to punch a few holes. 
And this paper is double-sided, which is great for us. Small, but that's okay. We'll work through all of that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See people laughing. People laughing at this statement. Cause Samara's the person that does that. Did it. She did it. <laughs> I'll never stop saying that. Never. So I was hoping my hole puncher was bigger. I don't, mm, I don't know what's going on with me and my brain, but that's, we're going to try to work through that. We're going to try to work through that one. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to work through it or if I just need to get a hole puncher and revisit this next week. Um, but we'll see. All right. So one side is embossed and one side is debossed. Okay. Whichever side you want to use is the side you go for. I am going to pull out my inks, and I think I'm going to go for these two colors right here. Ma'am, you ain't got to tell me. I appreciate it. I like those little flower things. So, yep. So, we're going to use blue. I'm not good at. I'm not the best at blending, so this is not a how you should blend situation at all. But we're going to do some blending. And you can see how these little colors pop out, these embossing images pop out. And what I had in my mind is to pop these colors out, but these are too small, and put them over there. I use the Gemini MIDI. Um, if if I were to suggest a, a machine to use, I would probably say to use the machine that just does embossing because it does the right pressure. But any craft machine, any die cutting machine will do what you need it to, to do. And so I'm not going directly on to the paper with the machinese came from the Dollar Tree when it was a dollar store. You know, they used to have a sign that said, here, everything's a dollar, right? Um, on the front. I recently went to the front. I mean, I recently went to pass by one of the stores. It was closed um, when I went there to buy something. It was actually closed for some reason. They had took that sign down. So the Gemini MIDI is the hand crank form of the Gemini Junior, I believe. And it does the job pretty well. I got it from HSN when it was on like today's special or this deal or one of those craft days that I was like, I don't need to buy anything. And I ended up spending way too much money. So that is how it's looking so far. And then we're going to Now, I think this has old paper on it, but that's okay. Okay. You just clean these off, run them through water. I actually bought the little makeup scrub thing to clean it off, but I just find that, you know, scrubbing it with my hand under water works well and for whatever reason it seems like it still gets impacted down there So what I just did, I did not want to happen. I have been very careful not to um, put a heavy amount of ink and go directly onto the paper. I prefer it to look, in my opinion, when you're not doing a full blend, it looks easier 
or it looks more blended already when you don't do this. So I have it right here. You may not be able to tell it, but I can. And that kind of bugs me that I did that. But we're going to, we're just going to push through because we need to complete something today. Um, so now what we're going to do is get our card base. If I can find one. It's so funny, you know, like you make cards and you never have a card. I never have card bases ready. And then when I do have the card base, I'm like, what's this for? Why am I using this? All right, so we got this thing right here. Blank. I don't know who this is. It's just a plain card base. All right. I'm going to cut some paper real quick. Use blue. A blue sheet of paper. Oh, you need to use those, ma'am. Like, uh, yeah, because they are good machines to use. I mean, you don't have to. It's your money. You do whatever you want. But go ahead and bust them out and use them. <laughs> Excuse me. But if you're not really into die cutting and things like that, then it could be a little bit harder to use. I do find, like, you know, since you sew, you could have some dies. Well, why? What's going on? I want to cut this little white stuff off because we need to cut that off. So I'm going to cut this, turn it. And cut it to five and a half. I mean, I know life and work and stuff like that, but use that machine. Use your machine. And we're going to do this at four and a quarter. You know, I don't, I'm not... Even though I'm about to lie. I'm not a big... Hi, Kelly. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome in. I'm not a big die cutter myself, but... You know, when the time is right, the time is right. And the time is right to use it. All right, so we just had this as some background. I think this is a little bit off on the size. Yeah, see, well, I think we're going to do a challenge. Um, I was going to say they have some, um, look at me trying to get you to spend money. They have some sewing dies, some dies that you can cut out with some fabric to help you cut those things out better. And then, you know, you can sew them. I actually plan on doing that Um for one of the collaborations I'm in here shortly. Because I don't um, sew a lot, but I think it would be cute to do that. But I also um, have purchased some other things. Like I had bought some towels from the Dollar Tree, some nautical thing towels. I did this in the past and turned, you know, I bought two and turned them into like little throw pillows. So those are always fun to do. Yeah, I, you know, I don't really care to enter challenges as much as I thought that I would in the past. Because, you know, I can't work on deadlines. Deadlines, not going to happen, not going to happen, not happening. So if I actually had uh, been paying attention, I could have wet these papers and, um, put this thing down yeah 
I'm supposed to be getting some sewing lessons, but I never, um, I never reached out and contacted. All right, so we're going to turn this over. going to rub this in a little bit. And now we have this. Now, originally, I was going to fussy cut one of these things out, right? And put it on there. But, you know, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that at all. So we're going to put congrats real quick. Oh, no, we're going to do happy birthday because why not? Let's see if we have a small. Yes, we do. That is why I do collaborations. <laughs> that is why I do collaborations right there. Because I know I can be like, ah, you know what? I'm good. I don't need to. I don't need to do this anymore. All right, so we're going to do that. We don't want to waste a good sheet of paper. We want to destroy a piece that's already kind of out here. Now, I'm not sure how well these little acrylic stamps are going to stamp the first time because um, they're acrylic stamps. And sometimes they stamp great and other times they don't. But I don't have to worry about them sticking is always, you know, a challenge for me. So I'll put this to the side for now. Move this out the way. So it stamps really good. So we're going to do hooray. 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 Okay. And now... Also, I think for me, I'm always nervous about the person's reaction. If I do a challenge, is that person going to actually enjoy the thing that I sent them? Is it too plain and simple? Does it look dumb? Do they like it? So I'm always, you know, concerned about that. But, you know. If I was a smart person, I would take a, I would, I would label it. That's all I'm saying. But you know, she's not that smart sometimes. So, all right. So we got hooray. Now let's pull out these butterflies that we already have purchased. And then we're going to have to call it a day because my son keeps coming in here trying to talk to me. just I don't know I don't know if this is the right color and I don't think this is a good color for that yeah I don't think so because see we were going to try and do something similar to this but I have green and blue or teal color and I think if I had like a bluer color, a blue for this, it would work. But we're going to put our hooray 
Oh, that hooray is so plain. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if we can't do something about that real quick. It's still going to be plain, but it's going to be a little bit better than that plainness. Let's see. Of all the scissors I pick, right? I pick the least, my least favorite. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I butchered this up really badly. But well, we're going to still work. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Now it's starting to look like the shape of the United States. Uh, this is not geography. Nope. Not working. I'll have to put another one down. I wanted it to go right, like right here. We're just going to put a few butterflies on here. And then we'll be done. I'm going to get a few out. This one will work. And then these little tiny ones will work as well. I need two of those. No one's telling me that I needed two. What's going on? Let's see. Right, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do just like this. So the reason why I'm putting this down is because, you know, I like to show the butterflies being flight, but also because of this situation right here. I'm going to just do this real quick. That hooray, hooray, hooray is bugging me. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm just applying some pressure down on the butterfly. There we go. And then I need one more butterfly. Did y'all pick any of these up from the Dollar Tree when they had them for a dollar? If so, what do you do with your butterflies? You know, I'm partial to butterflies. I like the whole transformation thing. I also like phoenixes for the same reason. Even though those are not, you know, those are mystical. Or mythical, I should say, creatures. Okay. now all right so this is our completed card i need some gems hold on it's not complete yet it's not complete yet almost complete oh yeah if you had picked them up what would you do with them I know a lot of people bought these and they resold them for higher prices. 
I think we're going to use um, blue or pink. Gold. Oh, well, listen, you can have this birthday card if you like it. Send me your address. I'm not good at mailing stuff out on time, just so you know. I'm the worst. The worst. But I will get it in the mail eventually. Maybe next May. No. Send me an email address and I'll get it out to you. Um, my email address is lefthandedcrafter at yahoo.com. That's too big. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. You know, sometimes when you um have things and you you don't want to use them, because you know the price might go up on the stuff. That's why I don't use a lot of my stuff all the time. But I've gotten over or through some of those things. But still, something like, no, I want to keep it. I think, um, what do y'all think, purple? Because the blue is not looking right. But see, we, we did blend in these pink and blue to make purple. So I think that's too big, though. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe just one or two. I thought I dug those out and dropped one on the floor. Great. Just great. See? What y'all think? Just one? I could do one, two, three like that since it has to be odd. Yeah, I wasted that erase stamp. I mean, I could still use it on the inside. But I do like the cascading down. Hooray, 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 hooray. <laughs> may what Annie are you a Taurus you may not be into Zodiacs if you are not I do apologize I always like to know I'm not a Zodiac person per se but I do um, like to see if the person matches their Zodiac Oh, yeah, you're a Taurus. Definitely a Taurus. All right, that is that. I think I could put happy birthday in now that I know it's a birthday card. But it'll have to be off camera when I pick that stuff up I dropped over on that side. So we have done absolutely a ton of things today. It doesn't look like it, but we're going to talk about it. We did some embossing. And we did some um, stenc not stenciling, blending a little bit on the inside of the card is blank. Then we did coloring and masking. And we will be finishing, well, I'll be finishing this up. This could also be a journal piece. On the back, you can slap um, one of these cards on there to cover up that ink. And you could also decorate around it to make it look a little bit different but we will be using ours as a pure card so did that thank you so much i really appreciate that i'm still learning but i appreciate your kind words heather uh 907 crafted life she's an excellent colorist she uses copic markers and she does cute little blends and shadows it's really cute um but we did this one first because i was trying to make it not look like the other I wanted to use an example, but I didn't want to use those colors. And I'm trying not to use always blue and green um, because those are my colors. But uh, this is the second one. I just wanted to be a little bit more richer. And I do need to go over with some of my gel pens to give it a little bit of pop. So when we do these angles, you can see a few lines have been outlined. But this is what we have done today. I do appreciate you all hanging out with me. I wish this would have been a bigger hole punch. I don't know why I was thinking it was going to fit. But 
thank you for hanging out with me. I do appreciate all of the stuff that you do for and with me. They do scream summer. Yay. And, you know, we're still in our butterfly uh, thing because we're going to go back into our junk journal probably next week. If we have a two stream day, two week stream, two day the week stream. So if we stream next Tuesday and next Friday, we'll do that. So I want to say thank you all for watching. Enjoy your week. Please be safe. Um, as safe as possible. And until next time, uh, thank you so much, Kelly. Creative blessings to you too. Happy crafting.